And salons in Marion County have had to wait longer than other parts of the state to open their doors to clients. Many been, have been very eager to get back to business. And Monday, well, Monday, that wait will finally be over. A lot of people waiting to get a haircut, too, right? Fox 59's Mike Sullivan shows us what these small businesses are doing to reopen. As a barber, you're more than just a barber. They're a peace of mind. I mean, you're, you're a psychiatrist. And just like everything else. They too have been shut down by the pandemic in Marion County. It's killed us business wise being closed a little over two months now. Jason Hicks is co-owner of Downtown's Barber. We decided to open the scheduled day of May 16th and we got a lot of pushback. As the date does not sync with current city guidelines. We were actually booked for two weeks when we were supposed to open. Hick felt. Oh, for sure. He could keep his clients safe. Added mopping, gloves, masks, uh, make sure everything's sanitized after every cut. In the interest of safety, they decided to stay closed. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of disappointment. Which is now replaced by excitement for June 1st. First appointment said, uh, 8 a.m. The new opening day. We're all about state guidelines. I believe that these are a lot of challenges that we will all have to adapt to. Mac McMillan owns Fountain Square Barber. In its 92-year history, it's never closed until now. Most importantly, public safety is number one. McMillan is installing plexiglass between each station. Disinfecting between each client. With cut times extended for cleaning. Clients will wear masks, while his barbers may even take their PPE a step further. Depending upon the guidelines, we will also offer face shields. More than ever, it appears that safety is as important as the scissor. In Marion County, I'm Mike Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Mike, thanks. In